Hey guys, Jano Zero. I uh, just want to make a quick video here about uh, uh, property management and how we're managing our property and what we're doing. Let's see here. This this side of the hill. This is the side of the hill here. Most of my most of my property is hill. So, but this side of the hill here, over the last couple of years, we've cleaned out the trees and the saplings and have used them for you know various things. And there's the barn with the bunnies, and that'll be the home base for the goats. We'll move the old Range Rover out of the way here, my old girl. We'll move her someplace. And uh, but this side of the hill, up to where that flat spot is right there, that's an old logging road. This side of the hill right here is where we're going to put the goats in. And I'm probably going to take down that locust tree right there and use it for one of the corner posts for the for the goat pen in here. But all those saplings that are back up there on the hill, and all those small trees, I've had some people ask me, how come I don't clear all that out and just let the goats run up through there? Well, it's because all those trees and all those saplings, that's, I'm gonna need those trees in, you know, six, 10 years. That's, that's gonna be firewood and building material and stuff for, you know, 10 years from now. We'll, we'll thin them out a little bit. But we're not going to thin them out a whole lot because you know, we're going to need those trees. And so if we cleared off the whole entire property and left only the big trees, then when those big trees died and we used them, we cut them up for firewood or we brought them down for building material, then we wouldn't have any trees left and the property would be bare. So trees is a continuous resource that we use a lot and we will need a lot more in the future, uh, especially if we you know if we have to build uh, another barn and like I say, firewood, you know, we cook on fire, we, we heat with fire. So all that is going to be future fuel and raw materials. Now what I am going to do is I'm going to try an experiment this year to where uh, uh, I'm going to take some, maybe some squash and some pumpkin seeds and stuff like that. And I'm going to uh, just plant them in the dirt on the side of the hill. Uh, I'm not going to till it. I'm not going to do anything. I'm just going to plant them in the dirt underneath the leaves and see what happens. So let's take a take a walk to the other side here directly and uh, see what's going on. Okay, now we're over here by the uh, the garden area. As you can see, we've been dumping. Uh, we cleaned out the chicken house. We cleaned out the barn. We've got uh, we put the uh, chicken manure over there, but where our compost is on the other side of the fire pit. And the rabbit the rabbit manure we just put right onto the garden. And rake it in. We see we've got we've got the ashes from the burn from the burn barrel and the heat exchange, the hardwood ashes. We just dump that right on there. And then uh, there's a the new part of the garden up there, right where Mabel is, uh, that we're going to just rake out smooth. And I'm uh, we got some uh, chicken manure from last year and rabbit manure on there, mixed in with the wood chips. And I'm probably just going to give them a quick till, just real shallow till, just maybe a couple of inches, just to mix it all together. And then we're going to plant peas right into that. And right here on the side of the hill, you see there's a big patch of uh, purple clover. Where is it? I find it again right here. This is all purple clover. We're not going to mow this this year. We're going to let this grow up. And then we'll harvest it and let it dry out. Uh, hopefully we'll get two or three of those this year. We'll harvest it and let it dry out and store it in the barn for the uh, feed for the rabbits for the winter time and uh, for the goats. It'll be just like a little miniature hay patch. Uh, but uh, it, every little bit helps. Down there below by the creek down there, you can see where I've burned that out. That was just full of thick weeds and uh, thorn bushes and we'll get the chainsaw out and we'll cut those logs up and, and use them, throw them on the firewood pile. Damn hell, that hawk is loud. But down in there is where we're going to be. See how it kind of goes down on the other side of those rocks. It goes down. We're going to use that for storage. We're going to get in there and we're going to put in a refrigerator, an old refrigerator down there and bury it and uh, use that for some winter storage. And then we're going to be doing some other stuff this fall that I'll show you whenever we get to it. But that down there, right on the edge of the garden, that as we go down, that lower area is where we're going to use for our winter storage stuff. So let's take a walk all the way to the other side. Alrighty, we are on the other side of the yard now, on the other side of the property over here by where we have the trampoline and the kids' little clubhouse. And then on down a ways is our little shooting range that we have. But right here off the side of the hill, between the road and the hill, 
has always been a problem. Trying to keep it cleaned out. It's just, it's hard to mow, it's hard to clean because it's really steep. So, my stepdad, who is just an awesome, awesome dude, works at a nursery. Hey, Mabel, here. Mabel. And uh, they had a whole bunch of these little pine tree starts <laughs> that they had uh, left over. Mabel. And he sent me a whole bunch of them. Mabel. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna plant them all along this area here. Right through here. We're gonna plant them all through here. And then as these trees grow up, it's gonna make a good barrier. And it's also gonna drop pine needles, which will help control all the weeds down through here. So that's the plan for this area. And then we'll have a lot of pine that if we need to, we can use the pine for uh, building materials. Now, it's not really good firewood, but it's easy to work with as far as building materials go. And also this year, right in between this is going to be the fruit side of the yard. The other side where the garden is is going to be the vegetables. This side of the, of the property is going to be fruit. I got some fruit trees coming and we're going to plant them right in here. I'm going to plant some more blackberry bushes right over here along the side. And then we'll add on from there. And if I get enough fruit trees and I get some more, uh, you know, get some good production out of the fruit trees and I'll put a bee box out here somewhere. I'll have to get with... Uh, uh, you know the guys that know a lot about uh, bees and that, that do bees uh, You know swamp rat man and 1952 Jeep, but and then back there eventually On that part there that we've just been cleaning out the last couple of years. We'll we'll do something with that down there uh, We'll plant something down in there. I don't know what yet, but we'll plant something. I don't want to feel like I'm wasting any space that I have um, I want to make sure that I try to manage it you know as best as I can so that it can produce the most that it can for us because you know self-sufficiency a lot of it you know has to do with uh, you know managing what you have and making the most of what you have so that's what we uh, that's what we're going to plan on doing and that's what we're trying to do <laughs> and uh, any level part of the ground that we have and even some of the hills because up up here where we cleared off I'm going to I'm going to finish mowing that on down and that's going to be where I try to grow my tobacco at that way it's away from everything and it gets plenty of sun all day so but anyway that's what i'm working with and i just want to do a quick bit about you know property management and using the space that you have the best that you can and producing the most that you can off of it and uh, if the time comes you know in this this part of the yard right here that we're standing in may eventually get tilled up and turned into garden as well just because no sense of growing grass when you can grow food so and also uh i found a new channel uh, Buck Run 11, I call him Uncle Buck, uh, did a shout out for a channel called Grow Your Heirlooms, and I went and checked it out, and it's a really good channel. He's got a really cool ideas on do-it-yourself gardening and doing stuff, you know, uh, less expensive on the cheap, you know, more for folks like me, and, uh, you know, saving your seeds and starting them, and it's a pretty cool channel, and I'll put a link there, I'll put a link down below in the description box to uh, Grow Your Heirlooms. Stop by and check him out. He's only got a couple hundred subscribers, but he's got a lot of good information. So check him out. We're going to start cleaning up. And we're going to start planting these pine trees right in through here. And, uh, you know, trees grow slow, so it's not going to be something I'll do a weekly update on. But anyway, there you go, guys. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Somebody needs a haircut. Trim. <laughs> God bless in the end. Buzz, buzz, the end.